Max Adoud, um, I'm 27 years old, I open the batting and play for VOC. Uh, it's a long story to be honest. I started playing cricket because of my dad. Um, he was a professional cricketer in Auckland and my mother also played for Haas Um So for me it was, it's just a family thing really. I've been playing cricket my whole life since I was four years old and I just fell in love with it from the first time I picked up the bat and um, still love it to this day. No, I, I was born in New Zealand and then moved to the Netherlands when I was about five years old. Um, and spent pretty much all of my youth here until I was about 12. Um, and that I played all the, the youth systems here from under nines to under tens, all the way through to under 12s, and then went back to New Zealand. Um, so the connection was always here. Um, I, I knew the high performance guys and I knew the players, so it was always going to happen. I was always going to make my, my way back here, which um, I'm glad I did. Uh, yeah, DJing's been a part of my life as well, actually. I think it, it also stems from my parents. When we used to go on long car trips, it was. Um, a lot of Groove Armada, a lot of Bob Sinclair in the car, um, Daft Punk. So I think I grew up on the house music stuff and I just loved um, watching DJs DJ. And I think I've been doing it since I was 12. So it's a, it's a good fun hobby of mine and I'm going to be taking the decks on tour. So the boys will, will have a good time, I'm sure, during um, the isolation when I do a couple of live sets. So it's going to be good fun. The kennel is um, pretty much the house we live in. So the VOC logo or the mascot is a bloodhound. Um, so five of us VOC boys live in one house and we thought what better you know, way to call a house in the kennel because it's five bloodhounds living in one place. Um, Fred Clarson used to be a, a kennel member. Scotty, myself, so Scotty and myself are kennel members and current under-19s coach Pierce Fletcher is also a kennel member. So there's plenty of uh, good people in the kennel house for sure. Ik, uh, ik kan wel een klein beetje Nederlands praten, dus ik versta alles. Uh, maar in mijn hoofd gaat het gewoon helemaal kapot. Dus um, ik denk gewoon in Engels en als ik in Nederlands ga praten, gaat het gewoon uh, de hele andere kant op. Uh, mijn favoriete Nederlandse snack? Um, bitterballen. Ja, altijd bitterballen. I'm sure he does. <laughs> yeah, he tells me that all the time. He goes, oh no, here we go. Um, so I try and respect everyone's choices. I've actually started putting in playlists and I, I ask everyone to put in one song or two songs and then I can't upset anyone because um, my music taste is a little bit different. But I try, as a DJ, you know, I try and accommodate a bit. I try and um, play the floor, play what I see. If it's a nice sunny day, I'll, I'll give them a little bit of jazz, a little bit of deep sunset. And if it's um, rainy or whatever, or we're just going out in the gym, then I'll give something a bit more upbeat. So I try, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good at it.